In the first half of 2020, the internet was flooded with reports of strange lights in the sky. These were a new flavour of UFO, chains of up to 60 bright lights marching across the sky in eerie silence. Some people thought they were meteors because of how bright they were, but they were moving too slowly and too regularly for your average shooting star. Some thought they were planes, but they seemed too far up, following huge arcs across the sky. They didn't have the flashing lights that are a giveaway for planes either. And some, inevitably, thought they were a neatly marching line of alien spacecraft. What else could produce such a regular chain of lights but an approaching extraterrestrial invasion force? Well, spacecraft they are, but alien they are not. In fact, they're part of a brand new enterprise by SpaceX to bring broadband internet to the entire globe. They call it Starlink. Each point of light is an individual satellite, orbiting about 300 kilometres above the Earth. Each satellite is surprisingly small, just the size of a dinner table. But it has flat, shiny surfaces and solar panels that reflect sunlight, so we can see them when conditions are right. But reflective satellites in orbit above the Earth are nothing new. In fact, there are already more than 2,500 above our heads right now. So why do the Starlink satellites look so strange? Well, SpaceX's vision for Starlink is ultimately to have at least 12,000 satellites swooping around the Earth. But even with a short-term goal of just over 1,500 by the end of 2021, that's a lot of stuff to send into space. And being a SpaceX endeavour, their goal is to do it as economically as possible. So, since May 2019, the satellites have been launched 60 at a time, on board the company's reusable Falcon 9 rockets. Once they're above the atmosphere, about 290 kilometres up, the payload is jettisoned from the rocket, and the package of 60 satellites is sent on its merry way. But to provide an even coverage of the Earth, each satellite has to be put on a very specific orbit. And that's where the SkyTrain comes in. Because for the first few months after they're launched, the satellites stay in a kind of holding pattern, a graceful conga across the skies. Gradually, they use their onboard ion engines to thrust into a new orbit, to raise their altitude to 550 kilometres above the surface, and to spread out into the proper position. So in the first few months after launch, while this slow manoeuvring is taking place, and when the sun catches them just right, we can catch a glimpse of them tracing their eerie line across the night sky. And we can expect to see plenty more of them, with about two launches planned per month. So we can probably look forward to the spooky sky trains becoming a much more common sight in the future. Mm -hmm.